Oops. <laughs> It's a sweet and fun family event coming to Huron this weekend. We're talking about the Strawberry Festival. And with us today is, of course, you know him, the Farmer Lee Jones, along with Chef Andy Shelley from the Chef's Garden. Andy, I don't think I know you. No, I'm, I'm relatively... Where, why have you been hiding him? <laughs> what the hey, heck? Have him working on the farm. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. How is the farm? Great, great. I'm out at the farm market every other week. Yeah. And I'm doing a vegetable concierge, which is something that kind of takes people around the farm, <clears throat> showing them what we have, and then maybe a quick, easy recipe idea on what to do with it. Oh right gosh. at the farm market. That's yep, great. Farm market, yep. okay. So what else is going on out there? You know, we really want to just celebrate summer. Yes. It's built around a strawberry festival. I love that. And we're going to be doing some really cool stuff that Andy's going to share with you. Ice cream and strawberry yeah. sauce and shortcakes well, and strawberry sauce. Don't but, go there yet because we need to know like how to pick these strawberries, like how to wash them. Like yeah, give us yeah. the important details. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, sometimes they actually do as as good outside of the refrigerator is inside. If really? you can keep them cool and dry, the best thing to do is eat them. Well, yes. What, what's crazy is the season started two weeks early and it's ending two weeks early. So it's really the tail end of oh. strawberries. Last year we peaked uh, June 21st. Oh, really? But it's really about celebrating the summer season. We've got face painting and bring the kids. Yes. And we've got artisan uh, vendors there and some great buddy of mine, Eric Everett, would, will bring his uh, music there. Oh, how and fun. And it's just going to be a blast this Saturday. Oh my gosh. It's something to go see. Will this recipe be out and about? It will. So we okay. are going to be offering this as a charred strawberry sauce that we made with our strawberries. We charred them under the broiler and then we made a shiso vinegar and shiso is an uh, herb that's in the mint family. It's Taste kind that. of okay. basil-y and Just citrusy and, and minty. Uh, we infused Ooh, the vinegar wow. into that and then added that into the sauce with some sugar and some salt and pepper. So over the weekend at the Strawberry Festival mm. on Saturday, we're going to be hey, putting Zach, it over ice cream. Scott Sable from Fox 8. How are you this morning? Hey, and yeah, you're Scott. Okay, keep going. Absolutely. A little on uh, the ice cream, well. and then yeah. we're going to garnish with just a little bit of <gasps> Can you guys, shiso. You guys can't see oh, yeah, that let me because hold this, this up for you. a oh. beautiful display. Look garnish at Garnish with a little shiso, maybe some mint flowers, mint oh, blooms. Oh, my gosh, how pretty. On top of that. So that, and then we're also going to be offering strawberry shortcake right here. So shortcakes with our same strawberry sauce. Did you? You brought spoons. Of course, okay. yep. <laughs> I just want to make sure, Andy, that you know how we're going to throw what some. What we do here. Yeah, we got to hold up the bowl because of this beautiful display. Oh, yeah. Is that all right? <laughs> that is so good. Oh, my gosh, that Thank is so, so good. Wow. Very yep. good. I gotta taste that. So then next over too. the shortcake as well. Oh, do I just yeah. yep. throw Dig a spoon on in, in there? Yep. The plate for it. So you yep. you made the shortcake too? Mm hmm Yep, absolutely. Mmm. Light. We're really Refreshing. we're really trying to focus around clean food. Bring him back. <laughs> Getting yes. families out there and making clean food available. Eat the rainbow. And it's just so great to celebrate the summer season. Look at all the fact we're starting the to stuff pick that's tomatoes. like really in season right now. Asparagus. We're still doing asparagus, okay. and the green beans are coming, and the carrots are coming, and the beets are coming, and we have even pick your own lavender. I brought and harvested <gasps> these specially for you. Are you these oh, are your own bouquet Lee. of lavender. <laughs> You know, lavender, lavender lavender's pet. my favorite. Is Every it? time I get a pedicure, they ask me what scent I want. I say I lavender. Knew that. So I'm going to rub these all over my feet when I leave. <laughs> That's got weird. Um, yes. Okay, but what it's else? It's just really have? celebrating the summer season, all the vegetables coming in. But get out to the farm, bring your family, eat clean food. There's no excuse this time of year. Get to the farmers markets. Go to the farmers markets yeah. and buy direct from the farmers. And then talk about your cookbook because that's it's been out for a while, but all the fun recipes that are in there too. And, and we really kind of explore stories. looking at every part of the plant. I mean, we tend to think of eating a zucchini, the squash or the squash bloom, the bloom, the blooming onion. You know, this is our version of a blooming onion. Yeah. But the book really will tell you how to be able to use all parts of the plant and there's even some great gardening tips in there as well. But it's a great book. It's not one you're going to want to take to the farmer's market, but whatever you get at the <laughs> farmer's market is going to be in the book when you get back home. Okay. So get one of those in the kitchen. <laughs> and I, it's important because I think, like, if I look at this table, I'm like, what do I do with all of this? But don't let it intimidate don't you. Don't let it intimidate and you. And I think that's what Andy's showing on these dishes. They're simple, they're easy, and it's good. And sometimes the simplest are the best. Yes! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. All the information, uh, obviously, the uh, recipe is on our website already. So this will be uh, something great you can make with the kids maybe this week or this weekend if you're 
And Farmer Jones about. Farm Market is a part of the chef's garden. Yeah. It's just that we were trying to differentiate it. But it's the Farmer Jones Market at the chef's garden. It's all part of the same thing. And the Culinary Vegetable Institute mm -hmm. at the chef's garden. So it's all under the umbrella of the chef's garden. All right, so head out there for a fun time with the family. Um, he always leaves this for us, so we, we Absolutely. use his book to kind of help us. Eat in good figure. health. Eat the rainbow. rainbow. All right. <laughs> Eat the Yay. <laughs> for more of the event, what you can expect this weekend, it's all on fox8.com. We'll be right back, right, boys? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep.